Uh, hey everybody, this is a bad idea, and I'm making a video to show you how to use the debugger with the hopper disassembler slash decompiler so that you can explore code live. It seemed a lot easier than writing a tutorial with 3,000 screenshots. Let's see if I can get this done without melting my air. So, hopper to meet the app store requirement does not embed the, de the debugger functionality. Uh, you have to click this button in the corner and go to this URL to get the companion app. And once you have that, just leave it running in the background. And you can connect to it from here. And I already have uh, the hopper file for Dungeons of Dreadmore loaded. If you don't know how to load a Steam game, uh, they are stored under library, application support, Steam. You can probably figure it out from there. You go into the package contents and find the actual executable. Um, so now from the GDB window, we start the game. And Wow, that's really loud. There we go. Uh, now back in here, if we pause it, you can see the call stack. And I will show you something cool. In SDL main, bring up the pseudocode. I found where it checks if the previous session of the game crashed by checking for the existence of a cookie file. And if it finds it, it gives you an achievement. So I was able to give myself the achievement for crashing the game, which is called Suddenly the Dungeon Crashes, Collapses. Unfortunately, I can't replay it for you because it synced it to my Steam account. So, resuming. New game. Easy mode. Here we are in the game proper. We go back, pause it again. Uh, Hopper, I notice, tends to glitch out when it's in the SDL functions, but if you just step over them, it will come back when it gets back to the other code. I will, uh, I will let our friend know, and he is magic at fixing bugs. It's crazy. I don't know where he finds all the time to do this program. So, step into main loop. Out. Here we go. And, uh, and step out, step out, step out. Here we go. Step into player input and then you can bring up the player input function which is very large and takes a moment and it is mostly just movement math. Uh, Dreadmore has a lot of symbols in it by the way, it doesn't have symbols for everything. So. Down at the bottom, you can cheat when you're paralyzed or asleep. Um, so you can set breakpoints by clicking right on a symbol in this view, and then this is the breakpoint button. Um, it has direct access to the console. It complained about a lot of missing debug files. Um, you can look at any of these by double clicking on them. Uh, play game with player. You can see it. Uh, very simple function how it sets up the new game. And so, of course, you have your standard debug function step into, step out, step over. And I 
say goodbye to our hero. Boom. Thanks for watching.